Hi everyone! So today I'll be showing you how to make this really cool a French braid bracelet created by at the chicken on fire and Instagram. This bracelet is so cool. I absolutely love how this looks and the best part is it only takes two pins so if you don't have a loom you can always use your fingers, pencils, fork, whatever. So anyways don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you already love this bracelet and now without further ado let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom. You can also use a monster tail for this, but um, since it's just so easy to convert the rainbow loom version to the monster tail version, I won't be doing a tutorial for this on the monster tail. But you can also use two pins, you can use fingers, you can use a mini loom, you can use forks, anything like that to make this bracelet since it only uses two pins. And you will also need a total of 50 bands and 25 of each color. I highly recommend using two different band colors just because it gives a cooler effect of how it's like split on both sides here. And then you'll also need a hook. Today I'm using a Rainbow Loom brand metal tipped hook as well as one C-clip. All my supplies today are from RainbowLoom.com and at the time of filming these are the new Rainbow Jelly Tie-Dye Bands at RainbowLoom.com and uh, like I said at the time of filming they do not have these bands available in stores yet so you can only get these at RainbowLoom.com as of right now but they will have these in stores. I'll have the link to RainbowLoom.com down in the description box as well as a separate link for these bands. So anyways now without further ado let's get started. So first off I'm going to start with the um, loom horizontal and with the slits of my pins facing the right since I am right handed. So first off you're going to take your first color, this is going to be the cap band for the bracelet and you're going to twist that in the middle and then we are going to add our first layer or second layer, sorry. And then our third layer here. So you should have three different layers here and you want to alternate colors so that way you can get one color on one side and another color on the other side. So now what we want to do is we're going to take our hook and we are going to hook over the bottom layer just like how you would in a fishtail. So grab the bottom layer and pull over and then grab the bottom layer here and pull over just like that and then push your bands down. By the way, at the time of filming it is two days after the 4th of July so that's why my na nails are painted like this. Um, so now you're going to take your next color and this is where we're going to start the hooking process pattern for the actual bracelet. So what you want to do is you want to take your hook and on the left side you're going to grab the middle band. You're not going to go inside of any bands just grab the middle band and then pull that over and release. Then you're going to go here and you're going to grab the bottom band and hook over and release. So you should have two of the same color on the left and then one of each color on the right. Push your bands down and then add your next color like that. Then you're going to take your hook and Last time we hooked this side, we hooked the middle band, so we're going to hook the bottom band this time. And since we hooked the bottom band on the left, we're going to do the opposite on the right, which is hook the middle band. So on the right, hook the middle band. Like that. Push your bands down. Sorry, that was my elbow on the table. And then add your next layer. And now, since last time we hooked the bottom band on this side we are going to hook the middle band on this side. Oops. Middle band here, pull over and release. Since we hooked the middle band on the left we're going to hook the bottom band on the right. Over and release. Just like that. Then you're going to add your next layer on. And then here we are going to grab the bottom layer over and release and then over here we're going to grab the middle layer and hook over and release. Then scoot your bands down and add your next layer on. And at this point I'll give you guys a little bit of a tip and trick. So obviously as you can see we've been hooking middle and bottom bands and we've been alternating sides. So. Here's a little trick. 
when you're using two colors, so like here I'm using tie-dye and white, when you're using two colors as a color pattern rather than one or three, whatever side has two of the same color of band on layers um, that are next to each other, as you can see my two whites are next to each other here, you're going to grab the bottom layer. Anytime you've got two of the same color layer that are next to each other on the bottom, grab the bottom layer. And then after you know that you've hooked the bottom layer on one side, you know you're going to hook the middle layer on the other side. Just like that. So then add your next layer. And on this side here, we've got two of the same color next to each other, so that means we are going to be grabbing the bottom layer. And since we hook the bottom layer on the left, we're going to hook the middle layer on the right. You never hook the bottom layer on both sides at the same time or the middle layer at the same time. You've always got one and then one of the other. So then grab your next color. And as you can see here on the right, we've got two of the same color, which for me is white. So you're going to grab the bottom layer. And then here, since we grab the bottom layer on the other side, we're going to grab the middle layer on this side. Then grab your next layer. And on the left, we've got two of the same color next to each other on the bottom, so you're going to grab the bottom layer and pull over. And then since we did the bottom layer here, we're going to do the middle layer here. Just like that. Now we're going to add our next layer on. We've got two of the same color next to each other on the, on the right. So you're going to grab the bottom layer. So when you've got two of the same color, you grab the bottom layer. Then you grab the middle layer on the opposite side. Next color on. Then which pin has two colors of the same layer that are next to each other? The left side does, because I've got two tie-dye bands next to each other. So you're going to grab the bottom layer and pull over. Then you're going to grab the middle layer on the other side and pull over. Now I know that my tie-dye bands are all different colors, but in general they are tie-dye bands, and then the white in general is white. So um, that's how we know what two same colors are together next layer. So we've got two white next to each other right here. So you're going to grab the bottom layer and pull over. And then here you're going to grab the middle layer since we grabbed the bottom layer on this side. As you can see we've got a really cool French braid bracelet forming here. So you're going to continue on and do the same thing. I'm going to show you a couple more times and then I'll be going off camera. So put your next layer on. We've got two of the same kind here so you're going to grab the bottom layer and then since we grab the bottom layer on this side, we're going to do the opposite here, which is grab the middle layer and pull that over. Then grab your next color, which for me is a tie-dye band. Then we've got two of the same color here, which is white, so you're going to grab the bottom layer and pull over. Since we grab the bottom layer on the right pin, we're going to grab the middle layer on the left pin. then take another band and go across those pins there. We've got two of the same kind of band here. We've got two tie-dye bands next to each other, so we're going to grab the bottom band and pull over. Since we grab the bottom band on the left pin, we're going to grab the middle band on the right pin. Sorry if you hear stuff upstairs. My sister is playing video games, I think. And so now we are going to add on our next layer, which is this one. And then since we've got two of the same color here, it's white, so you're going to grab the bottom layer and pull over. And then since we did the bottom layer on the right, we're going to do the middle layer on the left. So I'm going to show you two more times. Next layer on. Then you can see we've got two of the same kind of band here, so you're going to grab the bottom layer and pull over. And then middle layer on the opposite side. next layer on and then we've got two of the same color here so pull over and then since we did the bottom layer pulled over on the right we're going to do the middle layer on the left like that so you should have something like this at this point 
and this is a little swatch of our French braid bracelet. So if you're still having trouble making this, then please go ahead and rewatch the previous instructions. If not, continue making your bracelet until you've got your desired length. I'll be right back to show you how to take this off of your loom. So it's been about 10 minutes and I am already finished with my bracelet, which is good because this bracelet is a very fast moving bracelet. So anyways, now I'm going to show you how to take it off of your loom. So you're going to go ahead and add your next color on. And then do the hooking process like normal. So I've got two of the same color on the left here, so I'm going to grab the bottom layer and then the middle layer on the opposite side. And then you're going to go ahead and hook the other bottom layers over. So I've got a bottom layer here that I'm going to hook over as well as a bottom layer here that I'm going to hook over. So we just hooked over all of the other layers. So you've got one layer on each side left. After that you can go ahead and take your C-clip and scoop up each of the sides or do whatever you'd like to connect the both sides together. You can transfer them onto your hook and do that. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer to scoop them up with my C-clip just like that. So when you're finished, you should have your C-clip attached just like this. And then make sure your bracelet's not twisted and then you can connect both ends together. Just like that and we are now finished. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this really cool French twist rainbow loom bracelet tutorial and thanks to at the chicken on fire on Instagram for coming up with this design. I'll have his links and my links as well as my other social media links down in the description box below in case you guys in case you guys would like to go check that out. Got a little tongue twisted there. So anyways, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you out and also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and find me on all my social media sites linked down in the description box below. If you do happen to make this bracelet, don't forget to tag hashtag tutorials by A to it so that way I can see and like your pictures. I always love to see what you guys have made using my tutorials. So anyways, well, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye!